Hi all, how are you guys today? Hope you're well. Um, I'm really good, thank you for asking and wondering in your heads. I know you were. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to um, say hey, what's going on? Theme of the vlog today, we are going to be talking about resistance. Okay, so I wanted to bring up resistance because it's something that we all experience. We all experience this resistance to wanting to do something but not doing it, you know, and not knowing how to do it, and not knowing what to do, when to do it, where to do it, etc, etc. So resistance, what is it, how does it affect us, and what can we do about it when we actually want to move away from it? Um, resistance is basically when you get a sense, in, a sense of feeling in your body, which is quite tight, constricting. Now, obviously, this is going to be very, this is going to vary for lots of different people, but essentially, it's that kind of tightening feeling in your body, tightening thoughts, words which are constricting, words which don't free you up, words which are limited. For example, um, such as um, can't, can't, don't. Yeah, those are restricting and res resisting words. Um, so you know when you think of those words, you're resisting. You're resisting what it is that's in front of you. There's a block. How can you move away from that? Absolute key thing. Feel it. <laughs> Feel it. Okay, acknowledge that you are resisting. Just say I'm resisting. So you've heard the word, I can't do it. Right. I am resisting. I'm resisting doing something that I actually can do, but I'm saying I can't. Feel that feeling. Where is it in your body? Is it in your chest? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your solar plexus? Is it somewhere else? Is it in your shoulders? That tension? Where is that feeling? Okay. Next thing is, if you really want to do it, you're going to have to change your mindset to do it. Now our thoughts can be are oh, so so powerful, and our thoughts can allow us to either move forward or not. And we're in control of our thoughts. So just by you acknowledging, for example, um, acknowledging yes, I'm feeling resistant. Yes, I'm speaking to myself or hearing words in my mind which are full of resistance. You can change that. You can say right. I can do this, I want to do this, I am able to do whatever it is that I want to do. So for example, you might be wanting to ask out a guy or a girl. Uh, you might be wanting to try something different which nobody has done before in your family, for example. There might be a lot of resistance there. I can do it, I want to do it, I am able to do it. You don't need to know how, you just need to, you just need to decide. That's all you've got to do. Just say, I want to do this. Okay. And then what you've got to do then is to say, actually, you know what? I am going to do this. I am going to do this. Starting to set the intention of actually putting into place plans to make it happen. What is it that you want to have happen? How are you going to get to ask out that guy? What are you going to need to do? Are you going to need to practice? Are you going to need to uh, look for examples around you? Are you going to need to do some research? Are you going to want to practice using your phone? Are you going to... whatever, I don't know. Whatever works for you. There's loads and loads of different ideas there, okay? <clears throat> and then, doing it. You've got to do it. You've got to get into action to make it happen. And the sooner after you've made a decision, the better. Because as soon as you've done it, that is it. You're on a roll. And you can give yourself a pat on the back for doing that thing that you didn't think you were able to do. Alrighty, I'm off to go and enjoy my day. I'm going to go hit the gym. Um, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye.